If we clear out the lines, the most mesmerizing star I recognize is the star that could dumbfound in our sky. It is this one, scarab juice or scarab pulverize. It's a red, very monstrous star. Furthermore, on the vague possibility that you put it where the sun is, it would stretch out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's huge, completely unpredictable, and going to explode. It's not as clear as it appears to be in the universe. These Goliath events, like the most irrationally feared gigantic starbursts, could shake all that we see. In addition, regardless, do whatever it takes not to see its middle. Betelgeuse has been seen as a sign, a red, extremely Goliath star that is normally more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists think it could go supernova, which has made people frightened about what will occur next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking photographs of the star, raising the question of when Betelgeuse will turn into a supernova and what titanic impact it will have on Earth. Let's sort out the star in the magnificent body, Orion, that shines so brilliantly that even individuals from long ago have seen it. The magnificent star Betelgeuse is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. It is the second largest star in the star grouping, and its name comes from this feature, the monster shoulder. It is potentially one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being extremely bright, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some tremendous experience with Betelgeuse for quite a while. A Greek observer named TMY also focused on it. Around that time, the primary thing people perceived about stars was their color, and TMY said that it was a toadstool-colored orange. In modern times, specialists have been focusing on the star more eagerly and now they have a brilliant idea of what makes it so curiously bright. One of these qualities is that the star changes brightness a great deal, with a clear magnitude of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. Recently, specialists have found some new information about the star. In 2019, specialists first saw that Betelgeuse was acting unconventionally. Even though Betelgeuse didn't completely stop shining, it wasn't the same. It had become considerably less bright, shining at a level of around 1.6. Specialists quickly began to investigate why they were seeing the tenth most brilliant star behave in this capricious manner. Researchers expected to offer an astounding explanation in light of their research, which uncovered unusual signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a famous scientist, shared this surprisingly dangerous explanation as a distinguished professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology. You shouldn't dismiss his point of view as a joke. He also has a science show, writes popular science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse is by all appearances a ticking delayed bomb because it could go off without warning. To disintegrate what is happening, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an epic amount of evidence to back up this explanation. But what whimsical signs has Betelgeuse displayed that have caused so much concern in space science? With the new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been named a supernova candidate. Despite the fact that analysts are still unsure when it will explode, the fact that Betelgeuse is twice the mass of the sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, as it's been said, ought to be a few times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get truly interesting, however, because analysts have used different instruments to research Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to see what's happening in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a long time ago. Around that time, the star Betelgeuse clearly offered odd hints that made its future uncertain. What did they find? Well, they could detect curious light waves coming from the star or from Betelgeuse, which is very curious. However, it wasn't the only thing experts observed from the star. This takes us back to the likelihood that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes every now and then. It was said that alarming Betelgeuse darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots, much like our sun today. However, the circumstances are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another indicator. It has returned to an amazing sign that Betelgeuse specialists found. 
that the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of quality of 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the gigantic darkening event. Review how the star appeared to fade in a bizarre manner in 2019. That's because it's now known as the Extraordinary Darkening. We could see that the incredible darkening was the start of Betelgeuse's unusual behavior, which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of darkening was 1.2, somewhere between 2019 and 2020, and the most reduced degree of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, specialists were certain that terrible Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years. In view of the extraordinary darkening, there is a fragment happening in the universe, so this is truly surprising. Analysts quickly changed their perspectives. However, when they saw what happened next, Betelgeuse got brighter again after the incredible dimming, and it changed into something far more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star above. Specialists were panicked when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has led to different considerations about what caused the incredible darkening. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 kelvins which is much cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 kelvins. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area. Nevertheless, it is more massive and will detonate. Now, let's look at what the phenomenal darkening looked like. Brian Cox asks, does it truly mean that Betelgeuse will go supernova? As a rule, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already shows that it is near the end of its life as a star. A star that is dying will also frequently weaken over time, which is something specialists get. However, Betelgeuse's new amazing behavior has made experts focus more intensely. Additionally, many telescopes are now focusing on the extraordinary darkening. Still, things get much more interesting because experts don't have a significant understanding of Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge tools to keep an eye on the captivating things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best instruments analysts have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped analysts gather a lot of significant data about Betelgeuse. The new photographs of Betelgeuse's amazing darkening, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused an enormous mass release. Based on new analysis, we now know that this mass launch was around 400 times larger than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. In this way, scientists are excited about what the telescope will find. Scientists have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that appear to resemble leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, but in spite of the fact that Betelgeuse will die, specialists are still paying attention to it because they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists believe that Betelgeuse is usually more massive than the Sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we examine the many unique things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this statement will still be true after the incredible dimming. So, specialists don't expect Betelgeuse to explode anytime soon. If Betelgeuse detonates, it will be the first supernova we saw for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Experts also don't think this should happen soon because they are still focusing on the star's rare behavior. Notwithstanding the fact that Betelgeuse will make researchers certain, when exactly it will happen remains a secret. If we separate the universe without prejudice, very possibly one of the most captivating stars, and maybe the most surprising in our sky, is Betelgeuse. As often as not, referred to as Betelgeuse, this red beast star, if placed where the sun is, would stretch out to Jupiter's orbit. This staggeringly enormous star is on the edge of an effect. The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. Unusual grandiose events, like cosmic explosion events, have the potential to totally upset our perspective, an event that may likely occur. However, while the chance of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, researchers are still working to figure out the exact course of events for its end. 
As analysts continue to gather data from the most advanced space telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they remain cautious about predicting an impending blast despite the star's surprising behavior, including the baffling dimming and brightening cycles. There's no certainty about when Betelgeuse will at last reach the end of its life. Some speculate that it could still require a huge number of years before the star explodes, but others believe it might happen much earlier, perhaps within the next few years or even months. The exceptional data collected by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's whimsical behavior, has kept researchers anxious. They are carefully monitoring what is happening, using every tool at their disposal to detect any subtle changes that could indicate a supernova is on the way. When Betelgeuse does finally detonate, it will send shockwaves through the universe, releasing a massive amount of energy. The explosion will briefly outshine the entire galaxy, visible even from Earth, as bright as the full moon. While this event will be a magnificent cosmic display, it won't pose an immediate threat to Earth, as the star is located more than 600 light years away. However, the supernova will provide a significant opportunity for researchers to study the last stages of a massive star's life and the phenomena associated with such a violent event. Betelgeuse's impending end isn't just a scientific interest. It's a reminder of the vastness and strangeness of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a vital role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the universe with the elements. Necessary for new stars, planets, and possibly life itself. The death of such a star isn't an end, but rather a transformation, as it releases heavy elements that will eventually seed new stellar systems. In the meantime, scientists continue to observe Betelgeuse and its behavior, unraveling the mystery of its future. With each new discovery, the mystery grows, and our understanding of the universe expands. Perhaps soon, we will witness one of the most extraordinary events in the universe, Betelgeuse's transformation from a monstrous red supergiant into a stunning supernova. Until then, the sky will remain a canvas of wonder, with Betelgeuse shining brightly, a symbol of the fleeting nature of life in the universe. As we continue to monitor Betelgeuse, the mystery surrounding its fate deepens. Space scientists are especially focused on the fact that this star is approaching the end of its life cycle, and its irregular behavior, the fact that something is making it behave so unusually, is stirring great interest. It's important to remember that supernovae are not the last stage for all stars. For instance, smaller stars like our Sun will end their lives in a much calmer manner, shedding their outer layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. However, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant, which means that when it dies, it will go out with a grand bang very different from the gradual dimming of smaller stars. The sheer size of Betelgeuse makes it an interesting subject for study. With a radius multiple times larger than the Sun, if it were placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. This gives you a sense of just how enormous it is compared to the Sun, which is already a giant by the standards of most stars. The size of Betelgeuse means that it has consumed immense amounts of fuel throughout its life. As it approaches the end of its life, its core is rapidly collapsing under the force of gravity. This collapse is what eventually triggers the violent explosion of a supernova. The process leading to the explosion of Betelgeuse is complex. As it nears supernova status, the core of the star begins to contract and heat up, while its outer layers expand and cool. This creates an unstable environment, with periodic fluctuations in brightness. These changes in brightness, like the dimming event observed in 2019, are signs that the star is entering a period of rapid change. This darkening might be linked to an outpouring of material from the star's surface, which temporarily clouds its light. Despite these fluctuations, Betelgeuse continues to emit light, but erratically, making it an intriguing object for study. The possibility that Betelgeuse may be a contender for a nearby supernova has drawn the attention of space agencies and researchers worldwide. With current instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists are gathering a wealth of data on the star. These telescopes allow us to observe Betelgeuse in frequencies that were previously out of reach, such as infrared and ultraviolet light, providing insights into the star's internal processes. Additionally, Researchers are using advanced models to simulate the behavior of massive stars like Betelgeuse. 
These models help scientists predict the star's future behavior and estimate the timeline for when it will explode. While the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain, the current data suggests that it could happen sooner rather than later. Some predictions propose that the explosion could occur within the next few years, while others speculate that it could take a few thousand years. Regardless of the timeline, Betelgeuse's impending demise will undoubtedly be a landmark event in the study of stellar evolution. Even though the explosion of Betelgeuse won't pose an immediate threat to Earth, it will still offer researchers a valuable opportunity to study the final moments of a massive star's life. By witnessing this event, astronomers will gain a deeper understanding of how massive stars die and what happens when they go supernova. The remnants of the explosion will provide new elements and materials that will enrich the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of new stars and planets. In conclusion, Betelgeuse is not just a star that is fading away. It's a cosmic clock ticking down to a spectacular event. As scientists continue to observe this giant of the night sky, we are reminded of the wonders of the universe and the delicate balance that governs the lives of stars. Whether it's today, tomorrow, or thousands of years from now, when Betelgeuse finally reaches the end of its life, it will leave a legacy that will shape the cosmos for billions of years to come.